Today I want to talk about the famous passage of scripture that's known as the Olivet Discourse. It's found in Matthew 24, Mark 13, and Luke 21. Now, why is it not found in the book of John? If it's found in the other three Gospels, why not include it in the book of John? Well, simple, because John wrote the book of Revelation. And if we read the book of Revelation, we'll find the exact events laid out that we find in the Olivet Discourse in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Let me just illustrate that for you quickly. If you remember in Revelation 6, that's where God starts to go through the end times events, and he goes through the, the first six seals as the seals are opened, okay? Well, listen to this from Matthew 24, and I'm going to show you how the Olivet Discourse mirrors exactly what we see in Revelation 6. The Bible says in Matthew 24, 3, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, and the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Well, what's the first seal in Revelation chapter 6? The Bible says that when the first seal is open, that there's a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow and a crown was given unto him and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Well, this is none other than the Antichrist. He's impersonating Jesus Christ. That's why he comes on a white horse and he goes out to conquer and to take over. What's the result? The second seal is that peace is taken from the earth and there's great warfare and, and they kill one another. Look how Matthew 24 matches up perfectly. It says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. There's your first seal and shall deceive many, and ye shall hear of wars, there's your second seal, and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, still talking about warfare. And it says, and there shall be famines. Well, guess what the third seal is in Revelation? Famine, a measure of wheat for penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou heard not the oil and wine. So we're following the perfect order, famines, and pestilences, okay? Pestilence is mentioned in the fourth seal when uh, the pale horse comes and death and hell uh, are given power over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the field, and with the beasts of the earth, sorry. And so you have pestilence, earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginnings of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. What do you have? in uh, Revelation 6 for the fifth seal. Martyrs appearing in heaven who've been killed for the cause of Christ. And of course, as we go down the chapter, we see the same things mentioned, the sun and moon darkened, and uh, all the events of the sixth seal. So I don't have time to read the whole chapter in this moment, but when we look at Matthew 24, and we put it side by side with Revelation 6, we see that the six first seals line up perfectly with what we read in Matthew 24 in that exact order. Because basically, Revelation 6 is John's version of the Olivet Discourse. All scriptures by, given by inspiration of God, of course, and it's the Holy Ghost that revealed these things uh, to John, and also Jesus Christ spake by the Holy Ghost when he preached them in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Same events.